You mentioned TSN.ca. There's also another article up there entitled Blue Jays Taking Risk with Timing of Vladdy Guerrero's Move to First. Explain the risk. Why do you think that? Well, here's the thing is that I just, you know, my view of it is that you want to set players up to succeed. And, uh, you know, and so there's, there's a method to that. Uh, you, you know, you're going to call up a guy from the minor leagues. You want to do it when he's hot. Now, obviously, circumstances sometimes dictate if you have injuries, you got to call a guy up. But if it's a, young, if a top flight prospect, you want to call him up when things are going well so he's got confidence when he shows up. Oftentimes, I would want to bring a guy up to the major leagues if there's a lot of hype on the road so he can graduate into being part of the team and assimilate before he has to go back and deal with all the hoopla that goes on around it. I would prefer it not to be against, uh, uh, you know, Garrett Cole uh, and, and, or Jacob DeGrom, depending upon which team and league you're playing in, that sort of thing. I wouldn't want to bring him up and face face. I want to give him a chance to succeed and have some confidence and, and, and build that early. Uh, and particularly with a position change, that's not something that you just drop on a guy 18 days before the season begins. That's the sort of thing that, for me, that's an end-of-season conversation, get the buy-in, and then put a plan in place in the offseason so the player is completely prepared to succeed when he comes to spring training and you use spring training for it. I, I, guess, I guess what I don't know is, like, had they not thought about this in spring training 1.0, uh, and, and I know he took some ground balls, but I guess I, I, guess I just don't understand why now. Why not? And, and, and maybe the calculation is that they're not going to be any worse putting Shaw at third base and Vlad Jr. at first, and therefore we might as well start the clock. I think that, that what I wanted Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to do this year is, one, to buy into the physical conditioning demands that were there, and part of those were attached to him being a third baseman. Right? We want you. We, you need mobility. You gotta, we got to get you shape to play third base. Uh, then it was, I wanted him to hit. And, and I think that there's more of a distraction for him learning how to play first base this 60 games than there would have been him pl playing third base, even if it was a below average level. And so I just don't think it's the right thing for him timing-wise to do it now. Long term, sure, I understand it. I just don't understand why the rush with 18 days to try to get him ready in a season when you have the whole offseason to make this decision and it didn't seem like it was something you wanted to do. When you look at uh, Vladdy at this point in his career, uh, Steve, and I mean, the kid's 21 years old, you know, it's very early, but what's the trajectory in your mind? How, like, how soon do we start talking about this guy as maybe not a fielder at all and maybe, a, you know, a permanent DH type of player? Well, look, he has enough athleticism to play first base. I really do believe it. Now, there, I also am not one who believes oh, anybody can play first. You need to have some feet and, and the footwork to be able to do it, but he should be able to do that. His big issue at third was the balls that he had to charge, and whenever his momentum got moving in one direction, when he had to throw in a different direction, as you often have to do as an infielder, that's where he had some challenges. I think he'll be okay at first. Uh, but the other thing to remember is not everybody can be a DH. Not everybody has that ability to, to not play in, in the field and still keep that focus and energy that you need to be a hitter. And I think that that's something that, that they're going to have to figure out whether he can do that or not. And, and not everybody can. I think they're going to have to figure that out for Rowdy Telez as well. And, and I don't think that necessarily you can just say he can do that as well. So, um, you know, look, I want him to hit. I think it's too early to say he can't play first base. Uh, since we haven't seen him there at all. And what I do, look, to be fair, he seems bought into it emotionally and mentally, which is important because if a guy's going to change positions, you want the buy-in, and he seems to at least be saying the right thing. I just want him to have the appropriate preparation because I don't, I, you know, I don't want him hanging his head because he's or he bears himself playing first base. And we look at it saying, well, of course he did. What do we expect out of him? to be able to do this it just wasn't fair to put him in this situation yeah there's there's a lot to unpack there there's a few things that i would touch on i think what you said about you know his physique his his um endurance whether or not he's in the gym and he's committed to that i do concern myself with him getting a bit of a free pass moving to first and even more so if he's at dh um, absolutely and i i think that's that's something that that is very um, significant to point out, and I hope the Blue Jays are going to stay on him. And quite frankly, if he's a pro, he's got to stay on himself. I mean, it's not on the team to do it every day. If you're going to be a pro, you've got to do it. But I do wonder if, even though he was predominantly taking, you know, hacks at third in the spring, 
2 1.0. I wonder if they saw it and they said this is just a mess. Like he he was he was I think he was arguably the worst third baseman in baseball last year. He's a kid. But honestly, yeah. the metrics would tell you that. The eye test would – he was never going to play third. He just was never going to play third. So I think they're like, we're going to try him at first. Um, but also what you point out about Rowdy, I think, is, is very important as well. I thought about that the other day, Steve. It's difficult to picture a team with both these guys on it when they mo- might both be DHs. Now, Tellez hits left. Vladdy hits right. Maybe you can come up with some sort of a platoon. But let's be honest, Tellez isn't going to take hacks away from Vladdy. Like, no. Junior's playing. So where does Tellez come into the picture here? Maybe not this summer, but starting next year. Well, I think it comes down to, you know, how do they hit? If they can hit, you'll find a place for them on the field. And, and, and again, I think that, that um, you know, defense is so much more important now, especially if you don't have a strikeout pitching staff. Uh, which, you know, some guys may be, but it's a contact snap, and defense is going to be important. And in some ways, I understand why you don't want Vladdy at third. It's, but, but I guess the issue is, is it this year? I mean, are they doing it because they think, well, we've got a chance to be a playoff team this year, so let's make the move because I think we're going to be a little bit better defensively this way. Uh, I look at it and think I want most important thing I want Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to do right now is to hit. I want his bat to come to life. And I want him to buy into the physical conditioning. His defense at third base was not going to be great. His defense at first base probably won't be either because you, the, the, there's so many plays that happen in a game that you can't necessarily practice in, 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 in a, in a two-week two period that you've got, to, you've got to give him some time to experience all the different angles and plays. Do I go after the ball? You know, when do I hold the runner? Do I bounce off? Do I step to the inside to make the throw to second base? Do I step to the outside? When do I leave the base to catch the throw and tag the runner? Do I stick my arm in there? Do I injure my – like, there's so many things a first baseman has to learn. I just don't want him to get hurt, and I don't want him to get embarrassed. And, and I know defense at third isn't great, but he's not going to embarrass himself. And I wanted him to hit. Uh, so – Look, it's about priorities, and it's about setting a guy up to succeed. Will it cause long-term damage? Probably not, but I just it's not necessarily what I want to do, and I want to find out a lot more about Telez than I do about Travis Shaw and Brandon Drury. And, and I would rather some of those at-bats go to Telez, and maybe he could have had the at-bats, and maybe the DH role will give him that opportunity overall. But, you know, the idea that they're going to be a lot better defensively with Shaw third and Vlad Jr. first, they're not going to be a lot better defensively. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. 